Hello YouTube. I'm gonna test out this camera lighting here for a second. Hello YouTube. All right, today I'm gonna to be reviewing a uh, a condenser mic. It is the Samson CO1U USB Studio condenser mic. Here it is. Here's the little stand it comes on, so you can just stand it up on the ground. Now I bought this thing for recording instruments, which is why the stand is particularly helpful because I can put it in front of the uh, speaker cabinet in the guitar amps very easily. Not only is this good for recording guitar amps, but it's also good for recording drums, vocals, you know, acoustic, pretty much anything, you know. It's it's a microphone. It's a general purpose microphone for instruments and music and podcasting as it said on the box. Now, I tested the mic before making this video and I gotta tell you, I like the sound of it. It sounds very good and full. And it is a USB mic. It doesn't it's not that traditional three prong thing that's on uh, most mics. So you don't have to put it through a bunch of converters and lessen the quality and all that. You get full um, 420 megabit USB quality. And the only way I can really um, review this microphone is to, well, make demos with it. <laughs> I'm gonna basically talk into it first, see how it sounds with vocals, then I'm going to play some guitar with both of my amps into it. I have a large amp and a small amp, so you can see um, what the recording difference is between something large, something small, and the difference between the recording quality of a tube amp and a solid state amp. So there you go. Without further ado, I'm going to uh, demo these now. All right, this is a test of vocals with the Samson CO1U USB Studio Condenser Microphone. For some reason, it's picking up more in the left channel than the right channel. That's probably because this is designed to be a one-channel microphone. I have no clue. But so be it. That's the way it is, I guess. Right. Um... As far as vocals go, I think this microphone sounds pretty good. Very good, actually. It sounds very full range, if you know what I mean. It has a lot of bass, a lot of treble, and a lot of mid-tone. Unlike some mics that have either one or the other, in terms of bass and treble, you know. Um, but the mid-tones and everything are very good. I like it. Now, what I really bought this microphone for was to test, or test, to uh, record instruments with. Mainly guitar. But it can also be used to record drums, and you know, but pretty much anything. And you know, it's just a it's just a condenser microphone. You can record almost anything with it. But without further ado, I will test it out on my tube-powered guitar amp first, and then I will do the solid-state one. And of course now I will test this microphone out on the solid state amp. What I noticed when listening to the one I just recorded with the tube amp, I'm not sitting far enough away so you actually hear the acoustic strumming sound from my guitar. That I think is just a matter of placement and me. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to test out the solid state amp of this thing now.
right, that was a test of the solid state amp, and that is the end of the demo of this microphone. Personally, I think it is a great microphone. However, where you play your guitar in uh, proximity to the amp is affected. It does pick up your acoustic strumming if you're too close. That's what I've noticed. Um, this recording was made with Audacity. If any of those are, if any of you are curious, um, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the review and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.